Okay, guys, uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about early rising, how to be an early riser, or why you failed to become an early riser, and what to do instead. Okay, um, before I start, make sure you like this video and subscribe uh, for more of these because it's a topic I'm going to be talking about a bit more, and it's going to be from a very different perspective. Um, it's not going to be all these usual hints, tips, and strategies, you know, to force yourself to get out of bed. Um, which to me never seemed like a lot of fun, um, you know, trying to trick yourself and force yourself into into adapting and changing a new behavior. You hear all these, you know, 30-day challenges towards becoming an early riser, right? Um, so many people I talk to, it just doesn't work for them, right? It just doesn't work for them. Now, that doesn't mean you're not a morning person. That just means that there's a different strategy for you. And to be honest, it's it's way better, okay? So I'll talk about what I do. So I went through all these sort of early rising challenges before I did all those sort of things. I wanted to become this early riser, this super productive person. And it worked for a while. You know, it works for a little while. And yeah, you start to get up earlier. But for me personally, and a lot of people I talk to, it always felt a bit forced. It never felt natural. Um, and there's always, you know, there are other problems to it. For instance, a lot of people when they do it, they'll set a time for themselves and they'll fail to follow through to get up at that specific time. And when they do, guys, right, all the self-judgment comes in. Oh, I'm a loser. Okay. Oh, I failed again. Oh, no, today is over. It's ruined. I mean, um, there's no point really trying today. I think I'll just start again tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be the day. As soon as I get this, this early rising thing down, that's it. You know, I'm going to be this super productive person. Now, that's all complete garbage and, and it's a way your ego comes in and sort of takes this area of your life and uses it to undermine you, okay? So there's a way better way of doing this. First of all, um, what I would say to anyone doing this is get real about when you have to get up, right? Um, now, for most people, they don't have to get up at 5 a.m., or 7 a.m., or whatever the time is for you that you would like to get up and start rising at, right? Um, they have to get up, you know, for work, or whatever time it is, right? And so they sort of say to themselves, well, I'm going to go to bed much earlier in order to do that. So they're forcing themselves to go to bed on time, and then forcing themselves to get up in the morning, right? A much better way of doing this is, as soon as you wake up, in fact, don't set your alarm for the earliest possible time anymore. Set it for the latest possible time, right? The reason for that is it's going to stop any of the early morning negotiations with yourself about when you have to get up, okay? You're going to get up when you have to get up, right? When you really have to, to be on time for work, okay? So say if you've got to, the latest possible time for you to get out of bed, get ready and leave and be uh, at work, let's say that time is half eight, don't set your alarm for um, half seven or 5 a.m. There's no point, okay? Because it's very difficult to be reasonable with your mind when it's in bed in the morning, okay? The trick is to being productive while you forget about this whole early rising thing is to use the time available to you in the day whenever you do get up, right? And that might be a bit later than you're, you know, supposed to be. Think you have to get up to be this great early riser. Okay, use the time you have when you do get up. Don't beat yourself up about the fact that you're not an early riser. Just use the time you have. And when you do that, when you use the time, it could be, let's say, in a weekend, you decide to get up at 10 a.m. rather than 5 a.m. Right? Don't beat yourself up about it. Just start the day and go forward, put one foot in front of the other and keep going with it, right? Um, because you'll find that that gets rid of all these excuses about, oh, well, I'm not, I, I screwed up today. I didn't do, I didn't start today well enough. So tomorrow I'll start. Now, I can't be productive today because I didn't get up on time, okay? That's a huge excuse, right? So just start using the time you have from the time you do get up. And what you find is you'll just be, you'll be productive. You'll be, you don't have to get up early to be productive, okay? You might choose to work later into the evening. You might choose to work later at night. There is no right and wrong answer to this, okay? Now, 
typically what happens is when you do just forget the alarm clock, forget early rising, and you're just using your time productively when you're awake, you generally just naturally move into a, a sort of an earlier rising pattern, okay? Because it's this whole thing of um, wanting desperately to become an early riser that makes you become someone who stays in bed really late, okay? Because of the fear of screwing up in this, the fear of lying in bed, the fear of being lazy, the fear of being a loser, okay? And not being like all these other people you see on YouTube, these successful people who get up early and they're just killing it, right? There is a, an opportunity cost with everything in life. If you are getting up early every day, you can't work late at night. You just can't do that, okay? You can't go out and socialize at night if that's what you would like to do at this point in your life, if you think that's a good thing for your development, right? You can't do that. So there is, it's yin and yang, right? There's good and bad with everything. So really what I'm saying here is the takeaway from this is forget trying to become an early riser. It'll just happen normally when you use the time you have available to you in the day wisely, okay? Just use your time wisely. Now, let me see here. I'm just checking the time. Really, my story in this was, um, yes, I had some success with early rising before, but now I just get up and I use my time productively, right? And I don't really have that many structures on my life or my day, right? The fewer rules you can make in life, the better. And if getting up early has become just another rule for you, well, you're going to break it. And when you do break it, you're going to judge yourself and you're going to say, oh, I screwed up. What's the point in this? I can't do this. I'm a failure. You're not, right? Just look for ways that make things easy right now so practically speaking what i would say is set your alarm clock for the latest possible time the latest possible time and get up and here's the good thing about that if you do wake up any earlier than that you're going to start seeing that as oh a little added bonus oh that's cool i got up a bit earlier than i needed to okay and when you're not forcing yourself into this behavioral change that's going to happen a lot okay you're going to be waking up earlier you're not going to be dreading the alarm clock okay you're not going to be dreading the alarm clock there's another thing I'm going to talk about in another video is one alarm clock you can use and it's called Alarmy. And it is if you do have to use an alarm clock at certain because you do sometimes when you have to be up for a specific um, work thing, whatever. It's so good. But I'll talk about that in another video. Guys, forget the early rising thing. Just use your time when you're up. Like this video, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys soon.